Now I'm going to show you how to crop an image into a circle, into a square, into a star, into any shape that you would like. Picking up from lesson number two, I've already imported the image of my cat. But as you can see, there's a lot of wasted space in this design. I want to make this picture as big as possible because a bottle cap is really small. So I'm going to go over here and create a square. Now, if I hold down control, if I have a Windows keyboard or in my case, command, and then click and drag, then I get some really nice ratios, and if I have the right touch, I can create a perfect square on step one. You can check it up here with the width and the height. Indeed, I do have a perfect square. That's a nice quick way of doing it. Um, now, I've drawn my image over the image that I want to crop. A quick word about ordering. Over here, you can control the order of the various elements in your design, your text, your images, everything. If I click here, lower selection one step while having my shape selected, then I lower it literally one step. It's just behind the image of my cat, but still in front of the image of my cap. If I click uh, with the square selected, lower selection to bottom, now it's at the very bottom. It's behind everything else. This is how you control it, and it's very important that you have your image that you want to crop immediately behind the shape that you want to crop it into. So I can't really see exactly what it is I'm going to crop. So I'm going to change the color of this shape. I'm going to give it a transparent fill, holding down shift and clicking on a nice bright color. Now I have a nice stroke around the image. The stroke kind of gives me a guideline of where it is the computer is going to cut. That looks about right. I'm going to have my shape selected and holding down shift, also select the image behind it that I want to crop. Go to object, clip and set. Great, now I've got a crop. I can enlarge my image now to fill up more of the cap design. That's great, what a great improvement. Great thing about clipping is it's not permanent. If I go to object, clip, release, then I get my two elements back again, including my original photo uncropped. So I can make any changes that I want to with ease. I can also crop the, the same image into a circle. It works the exact same way. I hold down Control or Command, draw to the best of my ability that perfect circle, position it over the part of the image that I want cropped, holding down Shift, I select both, Object, Clip, and Set. Great, now I got the image into a circle. It doesn't really work so well with this photo, does it? It cuts off her ears, it makes her look like a Scottish fold. Um, so I kind of prefer the square, I think, for this image in particular. But that is how you crop an image into any shape that you would like. Thanks so much.